Commercial real estate markets were already in stress coming into 2023, given the precipitous rise in interest rates, slowing fundamentals, declining transaction volumes, and limited liquidity. The closure of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank created aftershocks that we expect to heighten the stress, likely including a significant tightening of credit standards. While smaller banks hold 34% of total assets within the banking sector, they represent nearly 70% of bank CRE lending. A pullback by regional and community banks will materially reduce credit availability for commercial real estate with really no obvious lower cost replacement lender in sight. This can present attractive opportunities for sophisticated investors who can skillfully navigate both private and public markets. There are multiple factors putting pressure on the commercial real estate space in the current environment. The key themes we're closely monitoring are the existing CRE exposures on bank balance sheets, low issuance in the public markets, and the large amount of debt maturities looming over commercial real estate. First, CRE exposures have ballooned on bank balance sheets and are becoming an increasing focus for regulators, particularly as a result of this recent banking crisis. The largest U.S. banks have seen an increase of commercial real estate loan exposures of 29 percent since 2018, and regional and community banks comparatively have grown even faster at 61 percent over that time frame. The ratio of commercial real estate loans to regulatory capital, which is a key variable for regulatory examiners, is at its five-year peak for half of the largest 50 banks. This has all led to a material slowdown in commercial real estate lending. Secondly, further intensifying the impact, we believe that public commercial real estate markets are currently not a stable source of liquidity for borrowers given market conditions. CMBS spreads remain wide, issuance is at historic lows. Total private label origination volume in the first quarter of 2023 was down 85% compared to the same time last year. It appears that public markets still have a long road ahead before seeing normalized issuance levels. Lastly, looming as a storm cloud are the nearly 900 billion of loans set to mature through 2024. Given the current market dynamics, a significant portion of borrowers will need to look for alternative sources of capital as their loans mature. For those that cannot, we expect to see growing loan defaults, a continuation in the movement of loans to special servicing, and sizable refinance shortfalls and existing debt maturing. We anticipate that this will lead to increased distress financing and sales activity. We believe this stress in the commercial real estate markets will create actionable opportunity for nimble investors. Specifically, we see an opportunity for non-bank lenders in the senior parts of the debt stack to fill the gap resulting from retrenchment of banks and the new issuance lull in public markets. We also expect to see materially improved opportunity set and non- and sub-performing loans, rescue capital, and deep value equity investments. We believe a number of loan portfolio sales will also likely come to market. These sales may require creative structure solutions where PIMCO has significant experience. 